Patty Smith's M. Train is a unique and introspective memoir that defies conventional narrative structures and invites readers on a meandering journey through her life, memories, and artistic musings. Smith, renowned as a punk rock icon and poet, delves into her experiences, travels, and the power of art to capture the essence of existence. In this literary analysis, we will explore the book's thematic elements, narrative style, and its profound reflections on the human condition. Smith's narrative in M. Train is not linear but rather fluid, mimicking the stream of consciousness. It doesn't follow a strict chronological order, and this reflects the randomness of life and memory. This nonlinear structure may disorient some readers, but it ultimately mirrors the way our minds work, recalling moments and connecting them in a disjointed but meaningful manner. This is not a memoir in the conventional sense, where every life event is neatly arranged and analyzed. Instead, it's a wandering meditation on existence, art, and the power of memory. One central theme in M. Train is the search for meaning and connection. Smith's life is marked by profound losses, including the deaths of her husband, Fred Sonic Smith, and close friends such as Robert Maplethorpe. She grapples with the void left by their absence, seeking solace in travel, writing, and her connections to objects, such as her obsession with cafes and her Mr. Tambourine Man, a name she affectionately gives her black coat. These objects and spaces become repositories of memory and symbols of her longing for something that has been lost. The book's title itself reflects this theme, with M standing for many things, memory, mystery, mourning, and perhaps most importantly, mind. Smith's prose is poetic and ruminative, infused with literary references, from her love of the works of Haruki Murakami to her musings on W. G. Seabold. Her writing blurs the lines between genres, incorporating elements of memoir, travelogue, and dreamlike narratives. This stylistic choice mirrors the interplay between reality and imagination, as she moves between the tangible world and her own creative consciousness. Her language is sparse yet evocative, creating a sense of intimacy with the reader, as if she's whispering her thoughts directly into our ears. The book is also a tribute to the artistic process. Smith is a self-proclaimed detective of life, seeking inspiration in the mundane and everyday. She takes us through her creative rituals, from the daily tasks of writing and collecting stones on the beach to her journeys to places like Frida Kahlo's Blue House and the graves of Simone Weil and Jean Jennett. Through these accounts, Smith conveys the importance of routine and pilgrimage in nurturing creativity. It's a testament to the idea that art can be found and created in the most unexpected corners of our lives. M. Train is infused with Smith's deep love for literature and music. Her relationship with the written word is evident in her voracious reading, her detailed notes, and her fascination with the lives of authors such as Sylvia Plath and Arthur Rambeau. It's a book that celebrates the transformative power of art, not only in her own life but in the lives of others. In her recollections of her time at the Hotel Chelsea, we see the interconnectedness of creative minds and the profound influence they can have on one another. In conclusion, M. Train is a meditative and contemplative work that challenges traditional notions of memoir and storytelling. Patti Smith's narrative style, characterized by its nonlinearity in poetic prose, reflects the unpredictability and randomness of life and memory. It is a book about searching for meaning in loss, a tribute to the creative process, and a celebration of the transformative power of art. M. Train invites readers to embrace the meandering journey of life and to find beauty and inspiration in the ordinary and the extraordinary alike.